Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tutorial on everyone's, well, not really everyone's second favorite day of the week because it's not Friday. It's actually Sunday. Seductive Sunday. <laughs> and uh, if you didn't see what we're learning today in the intro, if you're blind or something, this is what we're learning. Uh, we're learning how to create flares inside of After Effects. No third-party plugin. So awesome. I'm so excited to teach you guys this because that's all I see now. Is like, Eli, I can't afford optical flares. Okay, so stop using it. Well, okay, well then just use the flares within After Effects. Goodness gracious. If you don't have money, I'm going to teach you how to do this. And it's going to be awesome. So definitely give the video a like because it helps us out so much. Well, it helps me out so much. And uh, also, don't forget to leave a comment because I leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video. And uh, just because I know people are going to ask where Brandon is. Brandon is preparing to go on a mission, so it's just me now. If you want to unsubscribe, I understand. All right, let's get to the tutorial. Oh, yeah, and I'm providing this uh, ray traced version of the project. That's what you saw in the intro. Uh, you have to use ray tracing to get this effect. Uh, this this what you're seeing in the video, but I'm also going to show you how to just, you know, create the flare and do a project without ray tracing because it's very tough on the computer. So if you don't want to, like, really strain your computer, I'm going to be providing the... Uh, project I'm doing right now uh, also at checkit.com so definitely go download it and yeah <laughs> let's get started now all right so open up after effects and you'll see that there's this little button down here let's click that to create a new composition 1920 by 1080 that's full 1080p I'm just doing six seconds because it doesn't matter okay so first thing we want to do is go controller command Y to create a new solid and let's just call it um how about just flare? I mean, we're creating a flare, really. Make sure it's that black. Okay. And now we want to apply a flare. So go over to your effects and presets. Type in flare. Okay. And uh, instead of optical flares, we're going to go to lens flare, the default After Effects flare. And I know you guys all think this is so sexy. It is. Ugh. Gosh. I look at it. I want to throw up. So ugly. Uh, first thing we want to do is actually center it perfectly. So half of 1920 is 960 and half of 1080 is 540 so just make sure you type both those values in so it's nice and center the second well the second thing we want to do is make sure we have the title safe action selected that's right here just click and hold make sure you go and have it toggled on that just uh, gives you some guides so we can create things all right so uh, you'll notice that this flare is extremely ugly I mean look at that that's like the flare everyone sees and it's just ugh. so first thing we want to do is like go down to 105 millimeter prime next thing we want to do is we want to create a new solid once again so control Y and this time we want to make it white or uh, really whatever color you want uh, I'm actually gonna make mine blue Okay, and you can also always just uh, generate a fill on top of it later on. But uh, let's turn off this layer. And then let's go up to the pen tool right here so we can create a mask. Make sure you have your royal blue or whatever color you have selected. Let's zoom in. Use these title safes right here. I'm just going to... I'm using the scroll wheel to zoom in and out, by the way. Just creating a nice diamond shape all the way across because I really like... Uh, long anamorphic lens flare so that's cool now if we turn this back on you'll see that we have this big blue diamond which is awesome so what we want to do is we want to click on royal blue we want to rename this I'm just gonna call it Anna for anamorphic just so it's not such a long name goodness gracious I'm gonna hit M to bring up the mask options I'm gonna drop it down I'm gonna turn up the feather probably around like 50 or so yeah that's good I'm gonna go back to my move tool and I'm going to hit F4 to bring up the blending modes and I'm going to click on add and that just uh, gives it a nice blue anamorphic widescreen look and the cool thing about this is you can always go back in zoom in make sure you're on your move tool right here and uh, click off the mask first and you can always just you know manipulate the mask to your liking so uh, nothing's final which is awesome about this so uh, next thing we want to do is we want to select the anamorphic. We want to go Control or Command D to duplicate it. I'm just going to stick with the name Anna 2 because that's fine. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to hit R to, for rotation. I'm just going to rotate it. I'm going to rotate it. Oh, that looks pretty cool. 
Then I'm going to hit S for scale. I'm going to scale it down. Cool, that actually looks really awesome. All right, now I want to just mess with the opacity quick because this is pretty ugly right now. It's too much. So let's go down to like 70% opacity for this, T for the first Anna, and let's go down to like 30% for that. Oh, no, that's way too, too little. That looks good. All right, so let's just um, stick with some easy calculations here. So 60 on the first Anna, 70 on the second Anna. All right, so now we want to create more of a glint on the inside. So oh, how we want to do that is we want to hit Q. You want to keep clicking Q until you get to the little star one. And make sure you have nothing selected over here. And then uh, if you zoom in, you go to the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect, of course. Let's click and hold Shift. And just make it about the size of the center, uh, what is that called? The iris, I guess. I, I'm not sure what you'd call that middle part. But now let's mess with this uh, polystar here. Bring down the polystar options. And let's just amp up the points a lot. Yeah, like 75 is fine. All right. And then the inner radius, let's drop that down to zero. All right. And then let's just rename this first one, Glint. Awesome. And now let's duplicate it. And then let's uh, just rename this one quick. Let's just call this Sparkle. Glint and Sparkle. That sounds like freaking stripper names or something. <laughs> Gosh, man. All right. So let's go into the contents of Sparkle. And let's change it up just so it's different than the, the first one. Let's bring down the points by a lot, like 10. And then uh, let's do the outer radius out so it's sticking out. Because we like it sticking out. Am I right, lady? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so gay. Now we have our glint and our sparkle, our nice uh, stripper uh, lens flare here. It's not looking very cool, so let's actually drop down the opacity right now. So T, how much should we bring it down to? Let's do like 10. Yeah, 10 for that one. And then T, like 7 maybe. Maybe 7 for that. Uh, actually, let's let's reverse that. Ten for the the bigger one, and seven for this one. Yeah, I like that better. Yeah, I know what you're saying right now, Eli. This looks so stupid. I know, I know. You're you're getting ahead of yourself there, buddy. All right, just calm down. Take a chill pill, as the kids say these days. All right. And also, what you're saying is, Eli, there's a problem. All right. These aren't sticking to my lens flare, and it looks just ridiculous. Yeah, I, I'm starting to question your, your teaching methods here. Well, random person, I'm going to teach you how to use expressions to link all of these different lens flares right here. So, here's what we want to do. We want to drop down this part right here, and we want to drop down the effects, go into the lens flare, and now we have all these options. And now I'm going to click something called the tilde key, which is right underneath the escape. It's way up there. It's like a little squiggly. And now what we want to do is we want to parent all of these to this, the flare center. So let's uh, bring up the P. Let's just hit P for all of these. See that? Brings up the position. All right. And now uh, here's where expressions come into play. So let's click and hold Alt. Click on the little stopwatch. And then use the pick whip to pick whip it to the flare center. Each one of these. So Alt, click, pick whip, flare center. Alt click, pick whip, flare center, alt click, boom, and boom. And now if we get out of this zoomed in area here, oops, did I add a tilde by accident? I think so. I did that one. My bad. My bad, sparkle. Keep doing your thing, girl. All right, so now if we go down to the flare and the lens flare here, right here, if we drag it, it is tracked on and awesome. So that's the power of basic expressions right there. So cool. Let's move on now. <laughs> the second thing we want to do is we want to be able to control all these flares brightnesses by the flare brightness right here. So we need to use more expressions. So let's bring it back up to tilde key so we have more room to work with. Now let's go to the opacity by hitting T for all of these. Okay. And you'll see that all these have different opacities, right? Now, here's where things get kind of strange. Because when you... Well, watch. Alt, click. And when we want to parent this to the brightness, you see how it does that? But watch. When I click off of it, 
it goes to 100% because our flare brightness is 100%. So what we have to do is we, we need to customize this expression a little bit. And since this first anamorphic flare was at 60, we want to do minus 40 at the end of it. And then it makes it 60. You see that? Pretty cool. What was that? Why does it always do that? It's so weird. Okay. So <laughs> let's uh, go back into After Effects. And since this one's at 70, remember, Alt, Click, Lasso, Brightness. And now, let's uh, since it's already up, let's go minus 30. And it'll stay at 70. Isn't that amazing? So Alt, Click, Pick Whip, Brightness, minus 93. This is a uh, basic math here, guys. All right, if you pass the third grade, you should be able to do this. Goodness gracious! Click. All right, minus ninety. Awesome. And now everything is parented to this. And here's something cool that we can do now. All right, so uh, do the tilde key here. Now let's uh, create a new null object, which is Control Shift Alt Y. <laughs> I know, weird, weird freaking uh shortcut right there but now let's rename this control and what we can do now is if we go over to the effects and presets we can type in control and we can make a basic controller so let's make a few slider controllers let's do uh just duplicating these the first one let's call freak for frequency second one amp for amplitude and the third one brightness for the brightness of course so uh, with control selected now, let's go down to our flare right here. And if we want to control the brightness right now, we can go Alt, click on the brightness, click the pick whip. Oh, of course. Sorry. You also have to select the control. I always uh, forget to do that. I'm going to do that again in the tutorial. Just watch. So pick whip it, drag it to the slider. And now what we can do is... You see how our flare disappeared there? That's because our controller for the brightness is at zero right now. So we drag it up. Since everything is parented so nicely, look at that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so we want to make it 100%. But let's say that we want to add some, uh, you know, flicker to this, like a real lens flare controller. So if we want to do that, here's where some more expressions come in. So you see that we already did an expression on the brightness. But we, we want to add more, so you ha when you're messing with expressions, you have to do a semicolon, then hit enter, and now you can add more commands and stuff like that. So let's do a wiggle, a very basic command right now, with 0, comma 0, and the parenthesis. Click off of it, and uh, if you guys haven't heard how wiggle works or expressions work, the first one is the frequency, or how many times a second it'll happen. And the second one is amplitude, or by how much it happens. So, if we want to make it so we can control it with sliders, here's what we have to do. We have to select our control, of course, then go down to this expression, highlight the zero, pick whip it, and the, since the first one is frequency, let's go drag it to our frequency slider, and it puts in all of this information for us. Let's highlight the other zero, click and drag it to the amplitude slider, and now check it out guys frequency let's just do a basic one five comma thirty that's what uh, this is basically saying down here so if we hit zero let it pre-render for a little bit look at that isn't that so cool just no time at all and we got a nice animation so uh, I don't like how fast that was going though so two and uh, let's do like what twenty so it's very subtle, it doesn't have to be too crazy. All right, so now the last thing we want to do is we want to just finish up making this look awesome. Let's do, uh, the thing that comes with After Effects is uh, radial, it's a fast radial blur. CC fast radial blur, it's amazing. So let's click and drag it onto the flare first. And uh, let's just do a nice, just a little amount. We don't want it too much. Amp it up and see. Actually, yeah, let's just do 80. And now let's uh, drag and drop it onto the. Uh, what, what? I wonder what it would do on the anamorphic lens flare. Let's see. Ooh, looks kind of cool. We can do a little bit. 
the why I chose CC Fast Radio Blur is because it doesn't take as long to render as other CC products. So uh, let's do like 60, maybe. Yeah, just it just like makes it a little softer and looks more amazing. Uh, for glint, let's add it on glint as well. But let's really amp it up on glint, like actually more than that, 85. Yeah, awesome. Well, that's too much. Yeah, you're getting a little out of hand there, buddy, all right? <laughs> oh, that looks awesome. So 91 is fine with me. Last thing, sparkle. Just click and drag it on. And let's bring this up a lot, too. Just to really get those out. Oh, yeah, it looks awesome. Get that shine in there. All right, so the last thing we need to do is we need to parent all of the... CC radio fast blurs to the center and uh, something that I need to bring up quick is yes it would be faster just to create a new adjustment layer and apply the fast radio blur on top of it and do this just once however when you add a clip to the bottom of this flare and you want to use this flare in actual like practical senses that won't work because it will also apply that CC radio fast blur to that as well because it is under the project so uh, this is why I it's it's tedious but in the long run it makes the flare work a lot better so what we want to do is we want to select the anamorphic here and we want to alt click on the center and pick whip it to the center here as well we want to do that for each one so click on and at two and a 2 doesn't have it. Glint then. Uh, alt. Click. Bring it down. To the flare center. Cool. And last one. Alt. Click. Drag. There's a lot of expressions, huh, guys? <laughs> but it looks good in the end. Now what we want to do is we want to turn back on the masks. And what we can do is... Go down to the flare center here, drag, and see what we created. Oh yeah, that is one cool looking flare. And it was all for free, so yeah. I'm proud of you guys for sticking around too, so uh, thanks so much for watching guys. If you guys want to download this stuff, go to checkit.com, download it for free. I'm so happy to be able to show you guys how to do all this. It's a very tedious process, but you can do awesome looking flares for free. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment and check out the comments that I loved from last video at the end of this video. And I guess I will see you this Tuesday. So yeah, see you guys then. Peace. Good gracious. Friday flips number five, illa illa M fizzle on the track. Levels of Vici, cause Flow Rider didn't do it justice. Yeah. Now what am I to do? No time to appease both sides Cause haters will stay mad till the girl's pantyhose dry up So keep hating, keep bitching, get my profile up And this is how you flip it man, fuck flow rider Don't need to make dance music for you to dance to it When I can make a crowd bounce with a hand movement I got a genius on the beat so don't act stupid Of course we're gonna crush shit, fuck with Man who is you to doubt it? I ran raid booth down, we tear through Fuck moving round it, build it without conviction And no bulk filling or filling out prescriptions Killing now addiction took the rap game unfiltered and triple distilled it to drip some real music through your system. So where the IVB? We hook it up on the bi-weekly five foot five levels of each. So on the real, on the real, on the real, on the level feels good to be back. Feels good to be back.